Well, I'm, I'm a firm believer in planning and particularly medium term planning so that we break out of the short term cycle where we're focusing only, you know, like at the electoral level and that political cycle. The stakeholder engagement for updating St. Lucia's medium term development strategy, MTDS 2021 2026, got off to an encouraging start with stakeholders from the public and private sectors, NGOs, and civil society organizations. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Economic Development, Claudius Emanuel, said due to significant changes in the socio-economic landscape, locally, regionally, and internationally, and taking into consideration the priorities of the new administration, it has become necessary to update and strengthen the MTDS over a longer period. Resilience to climate change, resilience uh, from a financial point of view, uh, very, very important um, imperatives. Um, as, we, as we look at making the, the country uh, competitive. Uh, as, as we know, as a small island developing state, we are vulnerable. And so to the extent that we can adapt and mitigate, um, it would redound to our um, robustness as a country going forward. Because within the context of COVID and what's happening uh, globally, the Ukraine war, for example, we are getting um, negative impulses in terms of rising prices. So it's important that we, we, we ensure that the necessary fiscal space is being safeguarded and that we remain uh, competitive. Restrategizing to get St. Lucia on a sustainable path of recovery is at the core of the MTDS. Stakeholders representing areas such as education, productivity and agriculture highlighted their importance at the planning table in the formulation of an updated MTDS. Education is actually absolutely critical. Uh, in fact, education policy is innovation policy because without the requisite human resources, with the right training, the right background, the right uh, perspective, you cannot implement any of the plans. The National Competitiveness and Productivity Unit is very important to this process because when you speak of medium-term development strategy for the for St. Lucia, productivity and competitiveness is a cross-cutting um, you know, issue which it affects all sectors is very important. The agriculture industry supports the food industry. So it's very important for the Ministry of Agriculture and the agricultural sector to work with the government of the day to ensure that one, there's food security, means it's available, but also to ensure it's affordable. Areas such as infrastructure, health, social protection and citizen security will continue to remain a dominant feature of the MTDS. Well, infrastructure is very important to the economic development of any society of any country. Because infrastructure is what speaks to your roads, your bridges, your means of communication. And if your means of communication are not maintained, if they're not upgraded as needs be with economic development, then essentially the economic fabric of your country, of your society crumbles. Health really affects all sectors. If you don't have a healthy workforce, your economic sector will suffer. So even uh, when we look at um, our social protection, if we need healthy people. Social protection spans all of our other sectors within the economy. It is not a standalone sector that the Ministry of Equity has to deal with, but rather something that is cross-cutting. So we want everyone to understand that we are in this together. We want everyone, society, and um, the law enforcement agencies as well to know that it is only together that we can accomplish and ensure that St. Lucia is safer. The medium term development strategy 2021 2026 is scheduled to be presented to policymakers in November 2022 and will replace the 2020 2023 version. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.